This is an A321 brake assembly. It is electrically controlled and hydraulically operated. There are two independent hydraulic systems operating this brake assembly. Green for normal braking and yellow for alternate braking. Hydraulic piston housing converts hydraulic pressure to force. These are bleeders after replacing a new braking unit. We bleed the hydraulic system, yellow and green system, to remove air from the hydraulic fluid. If there is air trapped in between the hydraulic fluid, then the pressure is reduced and the brake efficiency is decreased also. Stators stay stationary. These do not rotate. Rotors rotate. The carbon discs are attached with the rotors, so the rotors rotate with the wheel. There are 14 pistons on this brake assembly, 7 for each hydraulic system. So whenever the brake is applied on the normal or the alternate braking, 7 pistons are working at a time. Braking is achieved when hydraulic pressure is applied to the braking system, which moves the pistons forward and compressing the stacks of stator and rotors together, creating a large frictional force which breaks the aircraft. This is a worn out brake. You can see the carbon discs are totally worn out. This brake has two brake wear indicator and a temperature sensor. This is called a torque link damper. It has its own pressurized hydraulic reservoir. Its main function is to decrease the landing vibration through the torque links. I hope this video helps you to understand this simple brake assembly.